Welcome to another video. For today's video, we are going to answer the average round question in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Division Level for Grade 9 and we are going to explain in details how to get the answer. On number 1, simplify square root of 108 plus square root of 48 minus square root of 12. So the rule in adding and subtracting radicals, we must have the same index and same radicand. In our given, we have the same index, but we have different radicand. So to simplify the given expression, let us factor each radicand, which one of the factors is perfect square. So let us have 108. So the factors of 108 is 36 and 3. And then square root of 48, that is 16 and 3. And then square root of 12, that is 4 times 3. So let us simplify. So the square root of 36 is 6. Then let us have square root of 3 plus square root of 16, that is 4. And then square root of 4, that is 2. And then square root of 3. So let us add 6 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3, that is 10 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3. So to simplify, 10 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3, that is 8 square root of 3. And this will be our answer. On number 2, twice a number and another number have a sum of 20. What is the highest possible product? So to find the highest possible product, let us represent x as the first number. And y will be the second number. So in our first statement, twice a number and another number have a sum of 20. So this, that will be 2x plus y equals 20. So let us isolate y in this equation. So let us have y equals 20 minus 2x. So this will be the value of the second number. And then to find the highest product, let us have x times y. So let us have x, and the value of y will be 20 minus 2x. So let us have x times 20, that is 20x, and x multiplied by negative 2x, that is negative 2x squared. So the value of a is negative 2, the value of b is 20, and the value of c is 0. So to find the highest possible product, let us use the formula of k, that is k equals c, minus b square over 4a. So the value of c, that is 0, minus b, that is 20, and then square, over 4, times the value of a, that is negative 2. So this will be 0, and then negative 20 square, that is 400, divided by negative so to simplify, let us have here 0, so negative divided by negative is positive, and then 400 over 8. So let us cancel this one. 400 divided by 8, that is 50. So this will be the highest possible product, and this will be our answer. On number 3, if z varies directly as x and inversely as y, and z equals 9, when x equals 6 and y equals 5, Find z when x equals 5 and y equals z. So to find the value of z, let us illustrate first the equation. So we have z varies directly as x. That is z equals kx and inversely as y. So let us use the first set of given to find the value of the constant. So z, that is 9. So let us have 9 equals x, that is 6, k. And then y, that is 5. So let us have 9 multiplied by 5 equals 6k. Divide both sides by 6. Let us cancel this one. So we can cancel 9 and 6 because they are divisible by 3. So 9 becomes 3 and 6 becomes 2. So that is k equals 3 times 5, that is 15, over 2. So this will be the value of the constant. And let us use this one to find the value of z. We have z equals k 
times x over y. So the value of k will be 15 over 2, and then x will be 5 over 6. So let us have 15 times 5 over 2 times 6. We can cancel 15 and 6 because they are divisible by 3. So 15 becomes 5 and 6 becomes 2. So this will be 5 multiplied by 5 over 2 times 2. So to simplify, 5 times 5 is 25 and 2 times 2 is 4. So this will be our answer. Or if you want to, add, to write your answer in decimal, so this will be 6.25 and this will be our answer. This will be the value of z. On number 4, given triangle ABC, point P is chosen on AB and Q is chosen on AC such that PQ is parallel to BC if AP equals 2.1, PB equals 3.5, and AC equals 16. Find the measure of AQ. So to find the measure of AQ, let us illustrate the given. So if we are going to have triangle ABC, so this will be A, B, and C. So P is chosen on AB, so this will be P. And Q is chosen on AC, so this will be Q. At the same time, PQ is parallel to BC. And AP, that is 2.1. PB, that is 3.5. And then AC, so this will be AC, that is 16. So we are going to find AQ. Let us represent this one as X. So in order for us to find AQ, let us have the measure of AB. That is 2.1 plus 3.5. That is 5.6. So let us have here AP, which is corresponding to AQ. And then AB, which is corresponding to AC. So AP, that is 2.1, and then AB, that is 5.6, and then AQ, that is X, and then AC, that is 16. So let us have 2.1 and 5.6, that is 21 over 56 equals X over 16. And then let us cross multiply, that is 21 times 16 equals 56 x let us divide this one by 56 so let's cancel this one so x will be so let us cancel 16 and 56 because they are divisible by 8 so 16 becomes 2 and 56 becomes 7 so this will be 21 times 2 over 7 so 21 divided by 7 that is 3 and 3 times 2 that is Six. So this will be the measure of AQ, and this will be our answer. On number 5, in rhombus PQRS, angle QPR equals 5 times the measure of angle QSR, find the measure of angle QSP. So let us illustrate first the given. So let us have a rhombus. That is P, Q, R, S. And let's have a diagonal. The diagonal of a rhombus is always equal to 90 degrees. That is perpendicular. Since we have angle QPR is equal to the 5 times the measure of angle QSR, so this will be angle QPR, that is 5X, and this will be QSR, that is X. So how can we find the measure of angle QSP? So to find the measure of QSP, let us have angle QSR is equal to the measure of angle PQS. Because if we are going to extend this, ang this line, the measure of this angle is equal to the measure of this angle because of alternate interior angle. At the same time, if we have angle bisector SQ, 
the measure of angle QSR is equal to the measure of angle QSP. So this one is also X. So to find angle QSP, let us have angle QPR plus angle PQS equals 90 degrees. Because this one is 90 degrees and the measure of interior angle of a triangle is 180, so this will be 90 degrees. So this will be 5X plus X equals 90 degrees. So 5X plus X is 6X equals 90 degrees. So let's divide both sides by 6. So X will be 15 degrees. So the measure of angle P, Q, S is 15 degrees, which is same with the measure of angle Q, S, P, that is 15 degrees. And this will be our answer. On number 6, find the smaller root of 12x times the quantity of x minus 2 equals x minus 12. So to find the smaller root, let us have 12x multiplied by x minus 2 equals x minus 12. So let us have 12x times x, that is 12x squared, and then 12x times negative 2, that is negative 24x, equals x minus 12. So let us move x minus 12 on the other side. This will be 12x squared minus 24x minus x plus 12 equals 0. So let us have 12x squared negative 24x minus x, that is negative 25x plus 12 equals 0. Zero. So how can we find the factors of this equation? So what are we going to do is 12 times 12, that is 144. And then what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 144. And if we add, we can get negative 25. And that is negative 16 and negative 9. So to simplify, let us have 12x squared. And we are going to replace negative 25x as negative 16x and negative 9x. And we are going to put these numbers wherein we can factor the first term and the last term with this number. So what are we going to do here is we are going to write negative 16x and negative 9x plus 12 equals 0. So negative 16x minus 9x, that is negative 25x. So let us factor by group. So the greatest common factor of 12x squared and negative 16x, that is 4x. And then 12x squared divided by 4x, that is 3x. And negative 16x divided by 4x, that is negative 4. And then the greatest common factor of negative 9x and 12, that is 3. Or negative 3 rather. And then, negative 9x divided by negative 3, that is positive 3x. 12 divided by negative 3, that is negative 4. So, since we have 3x minus 4, that is one of the factors. And then, let's have 4x minus 3. So, let us write here, that is 3x minus 4 and 4x minus 3. Let us equate this one to 0. 3x minus 4 equal to 0. And 4x minus 3 equal to 0. So x will be 4 over 3. And x is 3 over 4. Since we are looking for the smaller root, so the answer will be 3 over 4. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.